Shalom. Shalom. To start this lesson, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, a citation to a sincere Akim, pushing his truth and all truth sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, diligently. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother of Warban Loya, and with me, Brother Tazan Kabar. All right, and with the brothers of the DMS Miami, the Hells of Yahweh Shai camp, and we come back with, with another lesson. And the title of this lesson is going to be, all right, those that. <laughs> but those my enemies, all right, and you know that's a little part out of the scripture, uh, Luke the nineteenth chapter and the twenty seventh verse. If you can grab that C bar, we're gonna start with that. You know that's just a little bit out of that verse, man. Cause when you read that verse, you know, you know it basically tells you, man. Which I'm gonna just let the scripture, you know, I'm gonna let the scripture speak for itself, and I'll explain after. But Lord, will this lesson be edifying to the hopeful elect? You got that C bar. Yeah, Luke twenty one. Uh, Luke 19, I'm 27. Are you good? Luke chapter 19, verse 27, it says that those, but those my enemies, which, which would not, that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Right, man. So those, all right, that don't want Yahweh Shai, all right, I'm going to just explain the verse, all right. Those that don't want Yahweh Shai to reign over them, all right, you know, those are Yahweh Shai's enemies, mm -hmm. all right? And those are our enemies as well, too, mm -hmm. all right? And those people consist of two-thirds of our people, mm -hmm. all right? The heathens <laughs> and also, you know, the Edomites, man, mm -hmm. all right? But, you know, hey, it goes for all of them, man, all right? Those that don't want Yahweh Shai to rule, mm -hmm. you're, you're, enemy, you're, you're enemies of Yahweh Shai, all right? You're, enemy, you're enemies of Yahweh Shai, you're enemies... Of the elect of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai as well, because we want Yahweh Shai to rule. Mm -hmm. All right, we tired of this kingdom. We tired of the bases of man, the 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 slacky, the base man, the base man. We tired of him ruling. We tired of you know, <laughs> as the scriptures say, children of fools. We tired of him ruling. All right, you know he's the children of fools. Once we paraphrase in the book of Job, we tired of him ruling. All right, we tired of this man ruling, man. Which the man that I'm talking about, the wicked, is Esau Edom. All right, he's in rulership. We tired of him ruling because when he rules, guess what? Hey, hey, the, the people mourn. When he rules, what, guess what? Hey, wickedness has polluted the whole earth because what? He's ruling, man. All right? There has to be a righteous king. There has to be a righteous authority for what? The people to rejoice, for the earth to rejoice, for the earth to be at rest, for the trees to break forth into singing because no feller has come up against us, man. All right? For the creatures... For the creatures, which we were creatures, and the animals are creatures as well, all right? You know, for the creatures not to groan anymore, all right? But to be what? Rejoiceful, all right? Re re uh, rejoiceful, all right? Joyful, all right? And that's all going to take place, all right? Once our Lord Yahweh Shai starts to rule, man, all right? Once he starts to rule, once he's ruling, man, all right? Because Yahweh Shai, he's the Prince of Peace, mm -hmm. okay? And what the scriptures say in Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 3? And one, it talks about a time and place for everything. And when you read down in Ecclesiastes, well, not Ecclesiastes 1, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, it, it says that. But when you read down in Ecclesiastes 3, it tells you what? Hey, a time of peace, all right? And that time of peace is coming, and that time of peace is coming once once our Lord Yahweh Shai comes into rulership, which he is the Prince of Peace, all right? The wonderful... Uh, the wonderful king, you know, the counselor and etc. When you read the book of, I believe, Isaiah, the ninth chapter. But you got to see, bar. Yeah, want. I just want, uh, real quick, I just wanted to read it in the NLT, well, it's Luke 19, verse 27. Mm -hmm. And it says, and, and as for these enemies of mine who didn't want me to be king, I mean, want me to be their king, bring them in and execute them right here in front of me. Mm -hmm. Also, too, when the, even to the coming of your outside, man. Right. Sorry, when the coming of your outside, your outside is going to put down these people, especially the two thirds. Mm hmm. Okay, because they're not moving in the favor of the outside. They don't, mm -hmm. they're not seeking the outside. Even to our enemies, the Lord will put them because the Lord will put them down because they don't want the outside to rule. Yes, right? right. They want to continue in, the, in their wickedness kingdom. But that's, that's right. not of their, themselves. It's all of the Lord. Man, the Lord controls the, the ruling of who rules this, who rules that. And, and the Lord about to set up with that one that's profitable. And that's going to be a kingdom that's going to last forever, man. That's right. All right. So, if you, you know, those who don't want the, the outside rule, the outside rule, fuck them, man. That's right. Because the outside will rule either way. Yeah. All right. And if you don't want your house trying to rule, because really you people right here are showing that you don't want your house trying to rule. Mm -hmm. You know, the back of the brother, what he's saying, you showing right, you know, back him up, add on to what he's saying. Y'all showing right now that y'all don't want the Lord to rule. So when the Lord come back, he going to put y'all to death, man. Mm -hmm. 
all right, via what? The missiles and via the lasers from the chariots, man, all right? Because really, y'all showing now that y'all don't want the Lord to rule, all right? So, hey, real soon, y'all showing now that, that y'all don't want the Lord to rule, all right? I want to I wanna, uh, add this in. Y'all showing now that y'all don't want the Lord to rule. So, hey, in those time to come, the Lord going to put you down, okay? Because if you don't want me to rule, okay, I got to put you down then, man. Okay? And, hey, how is y'all going to rule anyway? Okay? And the reason why, you know, speaking on, to our, speaking on to our people, the reason why they don't want Yahweh Shai to rule is because, you know, they so fixed on, they so deep into this Babylon. They done drunk so much Babylon juice. So all they all they know is Babylon and all they love is Babylon. Okay? So they, they don't want Yahweh Shai to rule. Even though we telling our people with Yahweh Shai ruling is what? Everlasting life, never dying. All right, you can be a thousand, ten thousand years old. You still look like you're, you're still, your face is still in this youth, man. You still shining. All right, having multiple women, your woman in order, and etc. But they don't want those different things. All right, and ultimately they don't want a black man ruling over them, man. All right, they rather the white man rule over them, man. Okay, they rather the white man rule over them, and they rather that 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 a dog face. Caesar, uh, Caesar Borgia ru uh, rule over them, man. All right, instead of our Lord, all right, our true Lord, all right, which he's a he's 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 really a dark skinned man, all right, a beautiful dark skinned man, all right. They don't want him to rule, man. Okay, but he gonna rule though. He gonna come, all right. And he gonna come. He gonna come conquer all. He gonna come conquer all these nations, all right. And he gonna be on top, man. All right. And we're gonna be with him, Lord, when we join heirs. Mm -hmm. makes it, it makes, that's another reason why the Lord got come with so much power and mm -hmm. great glory. Because you got you know, the Lord is gonna save the elect in the one third. Mm -hmm. Also, too, the Lord is gonna put down our enemies. Also, too, you know, it's another point too, because they don't want him to rule. So he gotta take the take it by force. That's right. He gotta that's take right. it by force and put you know, the Lord the Lord gotta put him into play. That's right. Okay. They, they don't want him to rule, but so what? That's not part of the movie, man. The movie part of the movie you know, it ends off with, you know, matter of fact, it ends off with um, Esau, you know, going bye bye, and y'all start coming through. That's right. All right. That's right. So he got, he, that's why he come with so much great force with them chariots, man. Mm -hmm. uh, so called UFOs, man. That's right. Okay, you got it. And I got something to back you up because you made a beautiful point. This is Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Right. So, hey, you know, the, I was going to say something right because I'm going to pass it to you. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, we're going to take the kingdom, man. All right, the saints of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the elect, we're going to take the kingdom. And another thing, too, our Lord, our Lord Yahweh Shai, another thing, too, our Lord Yahweh Shai, he's going to take this kingdom, man. Exactly. All right. It starts with him. He the king, man. He got to take this shit. Hey, it belongs to him. All right? It belongs to him. He going to take it, man. She could just say, I shall not meet thee as a man. All right? Yeah, how shall I come to handle business, man? You got to see, boy. That's, that's true. You, you brought it. That's true. I was just meant to say it funny. Come. Just right now before you, you, know, you brought it out. Because it makes sense, man. You know, and that when they're coming outside, come, when you're outside, come, and I'm going to be like a treaty where they just... <laughs> or like a paper bill, okay, here you go, your house side the world is for you. No, nah, nah. your outside gotta come with force. That's right. I am, you know, the outside gotta come with force, man. Right. Okay, because you got the wicked ruling, man. The wicked, understand, wicked, the wicked don't want righteousness. That's, nah. the, whole, that's the whole conclusion. The wicked don't want righteousness. The outside is all for righteousness, man. That's right. And that's what we on the same page. We on the same page of righteousness. We on righteous, right, righteous rulership and all the benefits that's, that come behind it. That's right. That's right, man. Hey, to back you up, all right. When you look into, you know, you know, different kingdoms going down. Hey, you know, different kingdoms, you know, they they went down, you know, with violence, man. Okay, so this kingdom gotta go out with violence. You know, the, different kingdoms went out with violence. All right, so this kingdom gotta go out with violence, man. Okay, and another thing too, man. Hey, Esau's the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it. That follow it, man. It don't say nothing after Jacob. After Jacob, that's it. Okay, and the scriptures also say, um, in the book of Isaiah, I believe 66, it tells you, uh, I think it's 66 and 22, if I'm correct. And I have created a new heaven and a new earth, all right? And it, it shall remain in the Lord, man, all right? A new heaven, a new rulership. Us, we gonna rule, man, okay? And it shall remain in the Lord, man. This, you know, the rulership that's coming, all right, it's gonna remain. It's never gonna fall. Why is that? Because the law is gonna be in our inward parts, all right? And another thing too, hey, we're going to be perfect, all right? We're going to be the Lord's people, and he's going to be our God, 
Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> I'm bringing it up. You just quoted Isaiah chapter 66. I'm reading the KJV in the NLT. Come. Verse 22, it says, For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, said the Lord. Mm-hmm. So shall you be your seed and your name remain. And I'm reading the NLT. Yep. It says, As surely as my new heavens and earth remain, I will, it's like it's so well you always. So yeah, so will you always be my people with a name that will never disappear, says the Lord. Mm. Mm-hmm. So hey man, hey, you know that that's about to happen, man. Okay, that's about to happen. You know, <laughs> going back to the KJV, all right, a new rulership, a new heaven, a new rulership is about to come, man. Mm-hmm. All right, the, hey, Israel got up next, man, and they're the last people. They the last people. Nobody else. Moab don't got after after Israel. Ham don't got after Israel. Nobody had after Israel. All right. We're the Lord's firstborn. We're the Lord's woman. Okay. We are gonna rule forever, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Esau. This is Esau's the last. You know, the, the Edomites are the last nations to rule, man. After that is is Israel all day, baby. Mm-hmm. Okay. And and uh, Esau can't get mad because look, man, you done ruled back to back, back to back. The Lord had mercy on you mm-hmm. and favor. Go ahead, huh? And also too, hey, you don't like that. Esau know this king was about to, you know, his time is almost up. Right. right. So that's why he's moving on hasty and things of that sort. Because you know that you know it's a righteous rulership by the by the yeah. play. That's what that's 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 why he hate he he don't want y'all to try to rule. Okay. And we're doing a video, huh? No, you good. Yeah, man. Hey, <laughs> he don't. He don't look. Hey, Yahweh Shai gonna rule, man. Mm-hmm. All right, Yahweh Shai gonna rule, man. He, he, look, I, Yahweh Shai got to rule, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai got to rule, man. All right, he got to. All right, cause hey, without Yahweh Shai, if Yahweh Shai don't rule, and this devil continue to rule, it, it look, he'll he'll delete all flesh, man. Yeah, he will. All right. He will delete all flesh, man. <laughs> you know, he will continue to hurt the earth. Mm-hmm. Our, worse than he's already hurting it now. But our Lord Yahweh Shah going to rule, man. And, hey, all things going to be put into order, man. All right? Because, hey, he the, he the... Man, matter of fact, we're going to close out with this. You got something to say, Bar? Yeah. Come on. This is Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is... With confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel fire. Right. So this kingdom, all right, and this kingdom gonna go back, go out with fire, man. All right. Verse six. For unto us a child is born, Yahweh Shai. Unto unto us a son is given, Yahweh Shai. Mm-hmm. And the government and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Uh-huh. All right, Yahweh Shai is the Prince of Peace. All right, and once He start ruling, there will be peace. All right, and another word, you know, you know, when you think about peace, you think about relaxation and etc. But not only that, another word for peace is order, man. Uh-huh. All right, there will be order in the planet Earth, man. Okay, due to Yahweh Shai, due to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh setting up setting up the profitable one, which is Yahweh Shai. All right, and Yahweh Shai gonna be with his little brothers. All right, those that are joint heirs with him, low willing, low low willing, we are those men. Amen. All right, we gonna be you know pushing out the peace, pushing that, pushing out that order, man. All right, and it's gonna be beautiful, man. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. So there's not gonna be no end to peace, man. Upon the throne of David and upon his ki- and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from from henceforth even forever the zeal of the Lord Yahweh of hosts will perform this. Mm. Come man, hey. So with that, we want to end off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and citation to the sincere Akim pushing his truth and all truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth diligently. To you we say Shalom. Shalom.